Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another cheat video for Forza Horizon 5. It's currently 5am. I'm recording this video for you guys because I just found <laughs> this newest cheat that's working currently as of 18th of June. So, this cheat is not that easy to use. You have to make your own custom cheat engine which is a bit tricky. However, I'll be showing you guys how to do that in this video. All right guys, so in the description, I'll be providing all the links that you shall need to be able to use this cheat. The first thing is cheat engine, Lazarus, and what's this? This is HXD. Then you have VM Protect and then Notepad++ so you can edit the files. Cheat Engine, you need to download the source file. So how do we get the source file? You go into latest download, scroll all the way down and there we go. We have the source code. And once you have that downloaded, you can then make your way over into the folders where you have everything. You want to install Lazarus, I already have it installed. Once you have that installed, you can go into Cheat Engine and extract that folder. All right, so once you have extracted the Cheat Engine file, you want to open it up, open up Cheat Engine once again, and then find the DBK32 file. And now we want to open up DBK32 functions with Notepad++. Once we have done that, we want to press Control F to search and search for dbk32.sys. All right, we have found it. And now you can change the first part of this dbk to anything that you want. So I'm going to name it to um, FH5 video. Do the same thing over here. FH5 video and the service name over here also change it to whatever you want so mine is going to be FH5 video then you want to press save and you can now close notepad plus plus okay now we want to go back into the Qi engine folder and then scroll down until you find this file, the cheat engine file. It should be an LPI extension. We don't double click it. Wait for it to open. If you see the same thing as I do over here, just press start IDE. And here we go. If you guys don't see this object inspector, we're gonna press view and then open up object inspector. So now we see over here caption chi engine. You wanna change this to whatever you want. So FH5 video, there we go. All right, so the next step we wanna do is go to project and then go to project options. And over here, we have to change the title to anything you want. So FH5 video, we're gonna clear the icon or you can upload an icon that you already have. Same thing over here, FH5 video. Oops, what did I do? <laughs> One second guys, <laughs> I'm not sure what I just did. <laughs> okay, so this has to be on, I just checked back. And then we want to go to version info, change about yeah, we're going to change a few of these numbers. And over here, same thing, FH5 video, FH5 video, file version, don't really need to change that. And then we go to paths. You want to change the directory here, G engine to your name. Okay. And then up in here, you want to change that also in 64 and in here also. 
Okay, now you press OK. And, and now we want to go to run, compile many modes, and then select, sorry, select these top three. If by any means you do get any errors, you want to untick this release 32 box and that should fix any errors that you have. However, if you do have any errors still or any errors in this video, feel free to leave a comment in the description, or sorry, in the, <laughs> in the video. I guess you can tell that I haven't slept and I shall answer any issues that you may be having. Okay, this will take a while, so be patient and you should, if you've done everything correctly, receive no errors and it should be compiled. All right, so once it's been successfully compiled, you now can close. Okay, so now you wanna open up HXD, drag and drop your application into HXD, go into search, replace, and replace anything to do with cheat engine. So for example, cheat engine like this, replace it with your file name, FH5 video. You wanna make sure, sorry, not your file name. You wanna make sure that you have the exact amount of characters. So for example, cheat engine has one, two, three, four, five characters, also cheat. And then engine has one, two, three, four, five, six characters. So you want to make sure you have first word five characters. So, um, I don't know. Let's do one, two, three, four, five video. And then six characters will be one, two, three, four, five six yakumi video yakumi okay so something like that okay and now we're gonna press k sensitive replace all okay you couldn't find that and we're going to search replace again make the e capital same thing with your new name okay that's done now you want to do the same thing all lowercase Okay, replace all, there we go. And then remove the space. Re okay, couldn't find that. And then we will do without the space and capital letters. All right, we're good to go. Uh, we can press save, exit this out. And then I'll see you guys at the next step. So now we want to open up VM Protect. Whilst that's opening up, we want to open up the cheat engine folder, go into bin, and then find our application. Here it is. We can use this one, drag and drop it. And once it's open, we want to press add function, click on this entry point, go into options. You want to make sure this is set to ultra mutation and virtualization. Press add function. Make sure in options you have everything like mine. If it is, you can press the play button to compile. Once it's compiled, I'll get back. All right, it's been successfully compiled. We can press no, exit out, press no again. And then now we have an extension, or sorry, an application ending with the extension VMP. So you guys wanna open up your file to test that it's working. You will receive a few errors, that's fine. And there we go. Everything seems to be working. We can go to help about and see that we have changed it. Everything to do with Cheat Engine, the name is not there. Okay, so once we are in Forza Horizon 5, we want to choose a vehicle that we can unlock uh, the car mastery with. So, one second, I'll show you guys what I mean. I forgot what it's called. Car mastery, is that what it's called? One second. 
yeah car mastery so as you see here we have all these unlocks so for example credits Forza Horizon 5 points and XP alright so now we can open up our build of cheat engine okay no problem now we want to search for Forza Horizon 5 open that change the value type to float and truncated that's very important so now we see over here to unlock this skill we get an instant 25,000 credits so we want to type in here 25,000 add two zeros after a dot press scan once we have made the scan we will uh, press on the first option scroll all the way down if there will be any greens at the bottom you want to make sure that they're not selected so any color that is green over here do not select them to highlight all of this you just press 1 press shift and then click the last one and then you want to put them down over here over here now we can just press ctrl A to highlight them all enter and now we can change this value to anything we want for example well, I'm gonna change this to 1 because I don't want any credits as you see I have 900,000 however I do want for the points so I'll be showing you how to get that also and I'll be showing you that it works by increasing my for the thumb points okay so we change the value to 1 back out car mastery get back in and then you see we have <laughs> we changed the one credit okay so now to show you guys this works to show you exactly what I need uh, but before I show you I want to show you how many Forza Thorn points I currently have 990 okay keep that in mind 990 make sure you don't forget that okay so first of all what we're gonna do is search for the XP so search for 20 thousand new scan first scan okay you want to find exactly which address this XP will be under okay so to do that <laughs> it's gonna take a while but this is the only way we can currently cheat on Forza Horizon 5 so remember I said do not touch the greens uh, we can close this we don't need that okay put them down okay so this is the way I do it I press one highlight a few not all of them because we want to find the exact address okay change it to anything so you can identify easier back out nope didn't change now we can delete the ones that we have highlighted to narrow down our search for the exact address nope okay so we are close we want to delete the ones that we know for a fact are not it because we just found it somewhere it's between one of these so we'll do from the top 666 nope these are not it and there we go 8787 Okay, that narrows down the search way more. Oops, what did I do? Okay. What about these four? Okay. So, it's one of these four. 
I'm gonna have a guess and say it's this one. Nope. Bad guess. Okay, what about this one? If I get this one, you guys have to leave a like in the in the video. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like no likes in the video. Alright, it has to be this one, right? You guys have to sub subscribe. Nope, okay. Don't subscribe. Well, the enemy is this one, so you guys have to like, comment, and subscribe. If it's not this one, <laughs> I have to delete my channel. Okay, there we go. We have it. Alright, now we can change the description to XP. Alright. And now for Forza Thorn points. That's exactly what I need. So now you want to copy the first six digits of the XP address. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, copy that. Press new scan and then delete what you have in start and in stop. Let's count one, two, three, one, two, three. Perfect. Add that. You want to add five zeros at the start here. One, two, three, four, five. At the end here also. One, two, three, four, five. Here also. One, two, three, four, five. And over here, you want to add five Fs. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, once we have done that, we want to search for 10 because we can unlock. 10 Forza Thumb points. Let's type in 10.00. We have 22 addresses found. Highlight them all. Okay. Highlight them all again. Change the value. I'm going to change mine to, let's say, 400. Okay. Now I'm going to go back into the shop again to show you guys that I have only 999 there we go you see 999 let's go ahead and go back into the car mastery let's unlock Forza Thumb points let's go into the Forza Thumb shop and there we go 1,400 Forza Thumb points. And to show you that it actually works, um, I guess I'll buy this Bronco. Is that a Bronco? Yep, it is a Bronco. There we go. It worked. I'll buy that also. Okay, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, you see, <laughs> you can buy unlimited. Oh, wait, you can't. Well, you can use this also to get super wheel spins, the same way I did to get Thor's of Thumb points. It works the same way. If you guys did enjoy this video, if it helped you out, feel free to leave a comment if you have any issues or anything to say. I will answer all the comments. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tomorrow's video will be special. <laughs> I'll be doing a few. I'm not sure if it's funny, but it will be enjoyable. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.